It's traveler season. Yeah. I mean, winter, I was like, even listening to some, some girls, I thought I would eat shopping for sure. But <laughs> <laughs> From a from a traveling perspective, or from just a like a, an elemental perspective, because summer's hella dangerous as far as elementals. But um, I don't feel like there's everybody seems to lose their mind in August, yeah. but because we're so tired of the heat. But I don't know that there's really like in the summertime, everybody's too blah to really be doing nothing. Yeah. Everybody kind of hibernates. Everything slows down. You don't really see much movement. Yeah. I don't know. I don't find one season to be safer, safer unless it's from the sun. Yeah. But. I mean, Do you feel unsafe since you've been here? Nah. Yeah. No. no. There's far worse places. Yeah. I definitely think that, you know, you're, you're safer in slab at night. But I think it's also dependent on who you know and what you're into and, like, what, what you're getting up to. Um, you know, I don't think I'd feel this way had I not had Bo not been my in and, like, introduced yeah. me to everybody. Right. Well, that's why I tell people when they ask where they can go, start off at an establishment. The, I just saw that. Have you been to the hostel yet? Oh my god, I got a tour of it the other day and it's so fucking pretty, dude. I've never been in there. They've got their little Airbnbs and they're cleaner than Airbnbs I've seen out in the real world. All set up and then there's a common area in the middle. And he's got like a lounge and a little smoking area and a fucking barbecue. It's uh, saw, um, it was nice. Was it Razor Rick TV, the guy who just came through and did beat me out here by like a month and did a, a full-fledged YouTube documentary huh. on Slab City. I haven't seen that one. It's a little bit long, but it's like yeah. worth it. I can, I mean, I can take you over there. They're really, they're, they're really friendly to travelers, really welcoming. Yeah. Um, and he gave me a full tour. They, uh, they just set up a shower, dude, I and it has like, heated water. Yeah, I saw heated water. Video and it was like five dollars a shower, like that's easy. Yeah. I like took a, a bottle of Arrowhead out my bus, my bus door the other day to, to wash my hair, and then again the hot springs. Yeah, I haven't been in. In? I've just been, I've just been. Hovering. Why? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was told to go in the mornings and, like, not at night. Though never at nighttime, never in the dark by yourself. Yeah. That's a that's just a vulnerable uh, situation that you don't want to yeah. put yourself in. That's, that would probably be, in my opinion, the most dangerous place in the slabs would be hot springs at night. Yeah. So I just avoid it as a female alone. Now, if it was me and you going and I had a buddy, I wouldn't be scared at all. I'm, and it's not that I'm scared when I'm there. I just i am nervous because you are, like I said, you're wet, you're cold, you're in the water. And some creep could come up, and you can't see. There's, like, low yeah. visibility, so. Um, so, yeah, it's just, like, every time I want to go, it's at night, and I'm like, ooh, it'll be cold getting out. I don't want to go alone. For a half second. Yeah. For a half second. Change the fucking, if you are if you don't neck get naked, change real quick, and you're good. Yeah. So, I went earlier. That's why I was, like, late coming over, because I fucking fell asleep. I was just, like, sunbathing on the bus. And then That's awesome. And just dropping and listen to all the tea, because I'm an outsider. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. No. And then it, immediately they'd start talking again. It's yeah. not like that. I get all my info though from the, the chatters. And they take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. <laughs> There's some drama going on in there right now. I stay out of this shit mostly. Yeah, 